What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys today about our neighbors cut down two trees. It's pretty exciting because the way they did it is um, they used the traditional boom lift that goes up, uh, I don't know if it's 30, 50 feet. Then they had a crane in there to hold the, the larger trunks. There's trunks that are very big on these two trees that are probably 50 to 70 feet tall. And they're, they're huge. The, the, the trunks are at least three feet, I don't know, you say in diameter or is it something else? But the, the point being, that they're very wide, right? And I'm sure they weigh a lot. You know, I'm not an arborist, so I can only speculate for a tree that tall. I know it's way taller than the neighbor's house, and if that thing fell on the neighbor's house, it would have probably, it would have imploded. You know, like both those trees would have fallen in, it would have been terrible. Um, I love watching other people work, how they do it. They're really professional about it. Arborists are some of the most professional people you're going to meet in the lawn care business. Um, I think you're supposed to be like three years in the lawn business or the tree business or landscape business experience before they let you take the test, right? So, three years, go take the test, become an arborist, go make $20, $30 an hour as an employee. If you're one of the tree climbers, you can probably get, you know, the $40 an hour. But as an arborist, you can demand more money than your typical landscaper. Um, right now, I went to the Walmart, shopped, and uh, getting some things situated in my life, like getting my stuff straightened out. As Jordan Peterson says, clean up your, your bedroom, right? Clean up your bedroom. Clean up the closet. Get the clutter out of the area, clean it up, make the situation better. Forget about all this um, procrastinating, you know. Clean up the immediate area, clean up your house, then you can make a recommendation. You can become a teacher for your brother, your sister, your neighbor, your, your family members church members, uh, members of society as a whole, right? So, I love community. I, I saw an ad, okay? Uh, it was a church asking for members or people to volunteer, right? That's what they do. They volunteer. And it's really interesting because when you volunteer for the church, what's going to happen? Well, some of the things that are going to happen is that you're going to get known in the community, right? Go volunteer. Well, if you're a line company, go volunteer at the church Friday or Saturday at their location, and you're going to help them out, right? Fantastic. Um... I think that's great. The, the mission, right, everyone has a gift. You have a gift, I have a gift. Um, I have a gift that's different than this person next to me in their car. You know, she's having a good time playing with her hair. The person in this Camry over here, coming out of Hardee's, they have a different gift. They, they might be the front office worker answering the calls for your lawn maintenance company. I'm driving by Lipton Tea Manufacturing Company here in uh, Suffolk. You never know, you 
you never know when one of those employees that make enough money, right? They're gonna make enough money to have you mow the yard twice a month, maybe. Once a month, maybe. And they might not even have a priority at all, right? So, it's interesting. It's interesting how everybody does their job. I'm gonna put some uh, photos of this job being done. I'm gonna uh, crop them so you don't see the neighbor's houses, so the neighbors have privacy. But it's pretty cool. Like, I'm not even at that level, but I'm sure they're they're charging at least 3,600 to get that job done. At least, if not more. What, about $1,800 a piece? Might be 6,000, who knows? You should be charging enough money to make, to pay your bills, right? Sometimes I don't charge enough, I charge enough to get to the day, right? I'm like, okay, I got this one job opportunity tomorrow, Wednesday, Friday, or whatever. Okay, let's charge 500, right? It, it meets the minimum that I need to get that job. And I really need to be doing it where I'm making profit so I'm able to hire someone in the front office or hire better strategy people to help me save money so I can prepare for my retirement, right? I don't need people that don't care about me uh, working for me. I need people that care about my financial retirement future, my tax situation, my other things like that, right? So, 